stay focused and to stay undistracted. And there are simple things that you can do with the power of the blood of Jesus to reset your focus and recalibrate and recenter yourself when you're meeting with the Lord. And I would say very quickly, um, you need to give yourself some grace because <clears throat> that is definitely the enemy's tactic is to cause you to be distracted because he, Satan does not want any of us in an intimate relationship with the Lord and he certainly doesn't want us to recognize his voice because if we do we're completed and we're made whole in that instant and the only thing you want is to do whatever he says and we become powerful rather than powerless do we minimize the enemy I mean scripture says He's here to steal, kill, and destroy. Right. And, oh, well, that's kind of metaphoric. That's symbolic. I mean, I have a lot of historical friends that aren't saved, and they find it amusing that I've become a follower of Jesus, and I talk a lot about spiritual warfare. Like, this is serious stuff. Oh, and we've got the world that says, I believe in God, but you mentioned Jesus Christ. They're like, well, I'm not so sure that he has lead to God. So if we can for a moment, then we'll come back about some of the tactics of the enemy. Do we tend to minimize, or is one of the greatest lies of the world, we see evil as maybe not even a force, and New Age principles I used to teach, thank you Lord for saving me, <laughs> I, I, I used to say evil is not a force, it's the absence of good, oh my goodness gracious, but yet the Bible's clear, I mean the, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords was here and Satan was right there, throwing lies in his head. Well, and let's think about this. Satan was one of the most beautiful angels ever created. He knows how to disguise himself as the angel of light. He knows better than anybody he was there. He knows that heaven is 